We're now being joined by members of the Fort Lewis College Skyhawks men's basketball program, head coach Bob Petrack, also joined by seniors Q Mays and also Brendan Boatwright. Coach Petrack, we'll start with you. Your team uh, goes down tonight, uh, today, to a tough Black Hill State program, 81-66. Hard fight, great season for your program, but your thoughts on today's game? Yeah, I would like to congratulate Black Hills and Coach Ryan Thompson. I thought they played outstanding. Uh, they deserved to win the game. They were the better team today. Uh, NCAA basketball at, at this level is uh, it's very difficult, and, and they played the better game today. Um, would just like to say how thankful I am uh, for our seniors and our whole program. We've, we've had just an incredible season. Uh, the 29 wins is a program record. We went 29-4. and four. RMAC regular season champions and RMAC tournament champions and, and then won a game here at the NCAA tournament. So uh, although we came up short today and, and that'll sting, it uh, does not take away from uh, the champions that we have in our locker room and how hard we worked all year uh, to not only get back to the NCAA tournament, to, be, to get back in, in, into championship level uh, at the RMAC level. So uh, just ex extremely proud. Of, uh, of our program, uh, and I'm, I'm proud of our school. Brendan Boatwright, senior from Carlsbad, New Mexico. A great performance for you today, Brendan. 14 points, 11 rebounds, solid defense really in the paint uh, throughout. Talk about uh, your performance today, what you felt like you needed to do uh, to help your team be successful. Um, other than try to stop Joel Scott, uh, you know, just try to be – you know, in the right places, um, you know, it, we we beat them three times before, and I was just trying to replicate um, the defensive performance there, um, and you know, just fell a little short today. Yeah. Q Mays, uh, also a senior from Fort Smith, Arkansas. Q, uh, 17 points. You had a great offensive performance. Drove the ball strong to the bucket uh, throughout the game. Uh, offensively, obviously a different opponent today, and Black Hill State was very physical. But talk about maybe some things that they did that made it tougher for the offense to get going like you wanted to today. Uh, it's kind of hard playing the team, you know, four times, you know, but I think they adjusted well. Uh, they played great team defense, I would say. We just uh, didn't move the ball well, I guess. Uh, they came with better energy on defense than uh, previous times. That's what I would say. Yeah. We'll keep it with you, Q, and I want to ask you the, the season that – this team had very special. Coach Petrack just talked about it. Um, your thoughts on, on playing for this team and the, the things that you guys accomplished? Uh, just very blessed, you know, to be here with this group. You know, they gave me a chance to play the game that I love, that I love to watch every day that I grew up playing as a little boy. You know, uh, Coach Petrack has really believed in me as being a point guard and everybody else just let me uh, play the game, how I like to play with a lot of energy, you know, stuff like that. Just, uh, I can't say too much, but, you know, just very blessed to play with this group. I wouldn't want to be with anybody else but this group right here. Brendan, final question for you from me is uh, talk a little bit about your team's toughness. I mean, you got down by as many as 15 points, I believe, at one point in the second half, but you guys kept fighting back. Uh, you know, you got that lead down under 10. Talk about your team's toughness in your fight today. Yeah, we just believe in ourselves. Um, you know, we, time and time again this season, we've been able to pull ourselves out. Um, uh, some pretty sticky situations and uh, you know having that experience I thought that we were um, well equipped to be able to pull out of that and so the toughness just comes from belief in ourselves and and wanting to do it and um, you know just fell a little short today and that's that's life that's how it goes so um, you know congratulations to Black Hill State and I uh, wish them the best of luck moving forward. Uh, Bob, I'd like to take it over to you. You're a five-year veteran with the Skyhawks. You were with them through a couple of long years, and then the last couple of years, especially this season, you guys were pulled out and showed you guys to compete. Um, can you talk a little bit to just your experience with the program and the kind of team and program that Bob built? You know, it's a. You mentioned those low years, man. It was it was tough sledding there. You know, we ended one season on an L nine, um, and not a whole lot of guys made it to the next next year, and. Um, you know, just to be a part of the rebuild of Fort Lewis basketball has been special. Um, I'm glad that I was able to be be here to witness it, to be able to partake in it, and hopefully that uh, we can springboard this uh, continuing for the remaining seasons, you know, from here on in the future. So I'm, I'm pretty grateful, and I uh, thank God for the opportunity to, you know, pull out of the mud, essentially. Uh, Q, 
you remember, you had sort of a similar question. You know, you were only with us for one season, uh, but like you mentioned, Bob and Ty really welcomed you with open arms and gave you a lot of trust. Can you speak to really coming into that locker room and gelling with those guys to put together the best run in program history? You know, when I came on a visit, you know, we had a, a great plan, you know, and coach, you know, really believed in me to lead this team as a point guard, you know. Uh, we just came together as one, you know, and really just tried to stick to our plan as best as we could until today, you know. Uh, really just really blessed to play Fort Lewis basketball. You know, these memories uh, in this season will never be forgotten. One thing I'd like to say is, you know, the, the face of college basketball is changing so much. And both of these guys would represent exactly what uh, at least Division II basketball is all about. On, on my left, Boatwright's been here six years. He redshirted and then used the COVID year, uh, stayed loyal, could have left, could have stopped playing, got his degree, got like eight million credits, stayed with it, and and sought through and, 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 and got a championship. And then on the flip side with uh, the transfer portal, uh, here's a young man that just needed needed a, a fresh start in a new team in a different environment, uh, and both of them blossomed this year. So, um, as college basketball changes, I think this is a, a really good metaphor for, you know, both somebody coming from high school and, and having success and growing, and then somebody, um, we, we, we you know, come in and really blossom in blossoming, and some professional team is going to get a heck of a player in Q Mace. Guys, again, congratulations on an outstanding season. A uh, great tournament. Q, Brendan, and Coach Petrack, great job, guys. Thanks, Thanks sir. Sir.